expect 11 days to go until the Iowa caucuses, or caucus, and 19 till the first in the nation primary. We'll be in New Hampshire on TV and radio that day and the days leading up to it. And ahead of the first big vote, we're continuing our series on the real issues of election 2016. Tonight, we're looking at where the presidential candidates stand on the balancing act between keeping us safe while doing the same for our personal liberties. Adam Riley reports. Two weeks after the lethal attacks in San Bernardino, the Republican candidates had their fifth debate, and the USA Freedom Act, which limits the government's ability to monitor phone use, got a lot of attention. Marco Rubio decried it. And the terrorist that attacked us in San Bernardino was an American citizen, born and raised in this country. And I bet you we wish we would have had access to five years of his records so we could see who he was working with. So did Chris Christie. What we need to do, Wolf, is restore those tools that have been taken away by the president and others. But Ted Cruz, who voted for the Freedom Act, said the naysayers have it wrong. The prior program only covered a relatively narrow slice of phone calls. When you had a terrorist, you could only search a relatively narrow slice of numbers. Now we have cell phones. Now we have Internet phones. It's a technical dispute that raises a much bigger question. When it comes to keeping Americans safe, just how far should the government be allowed to go? In the Republican field, the answers vary widely. Are you open to closing parts of the Internet? I would certainly be open to closing areas where we are at war with somebody. If you're going to close the Internet, realize, America, what that entails. That entails getting rid of the First Amendment, okay? It's no small feat. There are also big differences among the Democrats, with Bernie Sanders sounding like a passionate civil libertarian. Yes, we have to defend ourselves against terrorism, but there are ways to do that without impinging on our constitutional rights. And Hillary Clinton sounding more measured. We always have to keep the balance of civil liberties, privacy and security. It's not easy in a democracy. To be clear, the civil liberties debate is also about whether companies like Apple should be able to provide airtight encryption. We need to be able to penetrate these people. Collaborative leadership here with Silicon Valley. And whether the government should monitor American Muslims. I want surveillance of certain mosques, okay? If that's okay. Donald Trump also said this, certain things will be done that we never thought would happen in this country. We're going to have to do certain things that were frankly unthinkable a year ago. Judging from the polls, plenty of Republicans feel the same way. Adam Riley joins me now. Hey, Adam. Hey. You up for a little quiz, a little fun? Sure. sure. Yeah, what did yeah. Benjamin Franklin purportedly say about the very same subject? Go ahead. You mean the thing that's been paraphrased throughout the yes, campaign? Yes, I, I have it here right now. from memory. Uh, what all is right, it? all right. Uh, you can have a little security, you can have a little liberty, but you can't have both at the same time? Close enough. Yeah. Those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. That's B much plus. Better. That's Close enough. Right. On a related theme, quickly if you can, on, on torture, are there any surprises or everybody's true to form? Something that I just learned today, embarrassed to admit this, uh, Ted Cruz is actually kind of uh, dovish when it comes to torture. I didn't know that uh, Donald Trump has said, you know, I'd love to bring it back. We should bring it back. And even if it doesn't work, they deserve it anyway. Chris Christie sort of swaggers saying, we, you know, we should bring back waterboarding specifically. That's what Trump was talking about, too. Ted Cruz voted for that amendment, the Feinstein-McCain uh, amendment back in June, that made a torture ban federal law. He has said that his father was tortured as a rebel in Castro's Cuba, Cuba and he has said that uh, torture is something that the United States should not do. Now, he, he leaves himself a little wiggle room. He doesn't say what torture is. He just says we shouldn't do it. But compared to the rest of the field, he's on the left with people like uh, Rand Paul and Lindsey Graham used to be, but now he's gone. This this torture issue, very quickly, is, is often, where it is in the campaign is a function of what's happening in the world, yep. sort of like terrorism we talked the other day. Right. They're not talking, this is not really a current topic in this campaign. No, it hasn't it? come up a lot. It hasn't come up a lot. But on the other hand, you know, if, if we uh, get a new uh, event that occurs, say someone from Guantanamo uh, yeah. pops off and hurts a bunch of people here or abroad, then we'll probably hear about it again. But yeah, very contextual. Adam, thank you so Thanks. much. Another interesting, you'll do it again Thursday. Well, let's do it again. And then Thursday. Uh, that sounds perfect. Adam, they did pretty well in the quiz.